Hey everyone, your designers are here. I'm Anita at Cedar Hill Farmhouse. And I'm Yvonne at Stone Gable. And I'm Kelly at My Soulful Home. We have tips and tricks and decorating advice for you today. So let's get started. This is episode 262, Get Out of Your Decorating Rut. And the show notes for today's episode can be found at decoratingtipsandtricks.com slash 262. I think this is such a timely episode. I think people, it's just a real problem. Even if you love decorating, sometimes you get stuck in a rut. Sometimes you need milk and cookies and take a nap. Yeah, sometimes you do. And it's that time of year, you know, it's after summer. And so maybe things slacked off during the summer because you might have been traveling or stuff piled up or you just feeling like a seasonal change. This is Mm -hmm. a great time to hoist yourself up out of your Mm -hmm. rut and Mm -hmm. try something new or swap things around a little bit. Um, But before we jump into today's episode, I just want to say that I had... A fantastic time at Round Top or the Round Top Roundup. I give a big yeehaw, (laughs) whooping it up. It was all that and a bag of chips. And Anita was a fabulous host. And I will tell you all, I got to see the inside of not only the city house, but also the farm and Mm. better in life which is not true of a lot of things, but let me tell you, that house in the Heights is something else. And that farm is um, gorgeous and something I have never experienced as, I never really thought of myself as a city girl, but Mm -hmm. I did kind of feel like a bit of a city girl there (laughs) as we were driving up Skull (laughs) Creek Road in a lightning and thunderstorm (laughs) with the wide open Texas prairie before me. I was really glad I wasn't driving a -a rent-a-car there and that I had Anita (laughs) safely at the wheel, but it was awesome. Uh, If anybody has um, round top the antique show on their bucket list, please make every effort to get that crossed off in the, you know, in the spring or next fall. And maybe we'll we'll even be back there and maybe Yvonne will be able to join us too, which would be awesome because it is something else. Well, I had so much fun. Kelly, you were such a delight to hang out with, and we spent all day long together. So it's really a good thing that I really love her a lot. (laughs) We did. Yeah, we were 24 7. Yeah, little peas in a pod, peas in a booth, peas peas in a house, peas on a farm. We were together all the time. Well, I mean, we went, I mean, not only for shopping, because we offered a round top box in our uh, beast. Oak decor dot store in our store, we offered a round top box. So we had to go shopping for the box, but we also yeah. have a booth there. And so today we're going to be there. I Kelly's gone back, but I'm going to be back. By the time you hear this, I will be back in the booth. So come see me at Blue back Hills. In the booth. Mm-hmm. That's right. With all the, our pillows and fun things. Um, it's just, I, it's, it's always amazing going to round top. I never miss it. And if you haven't been, please come down. I mean, not just to see us, but to experience it for yourself. And do you want to tell them about some of the wonderful ladies that came by to see us? Kelly? I was just thinking the same thing. I, we would be really remiss not to mention that. And of course, let me just say that so many people came into the booth looking for Yvonne and asking for her as well. So, you know, our I, we, you know, they were listening on. to our voices yeah, to know who we were. To our voices and looking around. But, you know, I, the really, truly, the list is so long. I'm not going to take up a whole lot of time, but just a few names that bubbled right to the top is Jackie, Fran, Sharon, Susan, and of course, Peggy. And, and there were so many, and Barbara, and there were so many other ladies. I mean, I, we could probably go on. Mm-hmm. We, could, okay, mm-hmm. we could probably go on for the, the next, you know, 24 minutes saying everyone's name. But um, honestly, uh, my heart felt as big as the state of Texas when everybody was coming in there and and greeting us. And we were so happy to see you all. We count you as friends. And now we've actually got to see your beautiful faces and give you hugs. So that was the high point for me, for sure. I know. So yeah, so I'm thanks so much to everybody who stopped in the booth. And it's not too late because, you know, we're going to be there. I'm going to be there till the end of the show. So um, 
which is I whatever that la- the first Saturday in October. I don't even I don't have mm. a calendar in front of me. I don't. I've kind of lost track of what day it is because yeah. when you're at the show, you have no idea. But uh, yeah. yeah, it's fun. So and I'm so sorry you didn't make it, Yvonne. So I'm I'm hoping that I am to too. I am too. But other I had other things I um that I had to do. So. I'm just really happy for for you girls. They called me and we're all excited and shared (laughs) that their excitement with me. So it was really fun. And I'm really happy for you. Oh, thanks. Yeah. And it was fun just introducing Kelly to all my round top friends. So that's Well, you know, again, we could go on and on, but uh, it was, uh, it's a really interesting place. Round top is a very, very interesting town. And what's happening there is really exciting. And there are a lot of really wonderful and interesting people that live there that have great stories and ideas and things they're working on. So yeah, uh, learn about it, put it on your your list and you know, round up some of your girlfriends and head up there or out there or over there, wherever that means for you. But definitely try not to miss it. Uh, well worth it. Um, right. So, And it certainly, I mean, if Round Top couldn't get you out of a decorating rut, I well, don't know Well, that's what, what I was going to say. I mean, to get, so that's, I mean, probably my first tip is, I mean, obviously to go to Round Top, but let's say you don't have a Round Top. For me, I, and when I came back from Round Top, I mean, and you would think I would be tired of looking at stuff, but I was so exhausted. And to be honest with you, I went to my local thrift store for a little bit and it. I told Kelly, I said, I feel like I got my energy back. Mm-hmm. I mean, which was kind of weird and it kind of got me all excited again. So I, one of the things you can do is to go to a thrift store or an antique store or just kind of whatever gets you excited. But I think that's a great mm-hmm. place to go. I Not only is it, am I looking for maybe special finds, but seeing these old objects, I like looking to the past to get this fresh new view of things. And I like taking old things and giving them a whole new look. So to me, it's exciting to go to the thrift store or antique stores to get ideas for my Mm -hmm. house. Well, you know, that's the first thing on my list, Anita. And I like for th- for thrift stores, but I don't love it as much as you and Kelly do. Um, so I just said to go to your favorite decor store, whatever that is and whatever that looks like. And then just spend time there absorbing everything. Look at the pillows. Look at the little um accessories, look at um, the fabrics, uh, just sort of immerse yourself in whatever that looks like to you, your favorite place to deck that you have that you would go to decorate. Well, and I would say this, Yvonne, uh, because I know we both talk about thrift stores, but they're not all created equally. And so most thrift stores I have, I really don't care to go in. They have to have really nice and very interesting things. Mm -hmm. So I don't know how... um, so maybe the thrift stores you're talking about are not really the kind I'm talking about. So, well, but, but so whatever it is, very the point, unique, yeah, mm-hmm, they've got yeah. to have some unique things. So the I point think is, is go to some place that that inspires you, whether it be um, an antique store or pottery barn, whatever, and who are thing in between there or on the left side or the right side of it. But we just want you to get in the decorating store and look around and sit down on the sofa and take everything in. Look at one of the tablescapes they've done. If it's a place that has tables, look at the art on the walls and just sort of re get those creative juices flowing, be inspired all over again. Sometimes I think if we get too into our own house, we can definitely get into a rut and things like reading um, some new Decorating magazines, go to Barnes and Noble or go to your little um, uh, newsstand that has some great magazines and pick a few up or do what I do called research. I go in and I find a big stack and I spend the afternoon just pouring over them, just getting idea after idea. And I think that's a really smart thing to do because it makes you sort of get out of your house and get out of the mindset of your house as well. I so agree. I think of um, magazines or the decor books almost like um, a high fashion show. Like nine times out of ten, unless you're, you know, going to the 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 Met ball or something like that, you're not going to wear something that you're seeing coming down the runway in a fashion show. So 
oftentimes if you see something in a magazine, it might be a little over the top for your own house or you see it in a decor book, it might be a little over the top for your home, but it inspires you to see things and and like take it to the nth degree. And then you can sort of dial it back to where it would be comfortable on a daily basis in your own house. So let your mind expand by taking in all this other imagery and sort of just a absorb that. My One of my favorite places to do that is on airplane. So I took my, <laughs> you know, those um, like L.L. Bean tote bags, like boat bags or whatever. When I went on my family vacation on the plane, it was filled with expired, you know, old magazines like oh that I just God. haven't caught up with. And I took them all to Hawaii and I would sit by the on the beach or I sat on the plane and I went through a whole bunch on the plane. It also feels good to sort of get those out of your pile. So you're kind of, you know, you're purging at the same time. And I dog And then do you leave them there when you leave? I always give them to the... I give them either to my neighbor or uh, that I'm sitting with, or if it's you know oh, my family, and I don't want. I give mm-hmm. it to the. Um, I'm not. You know what do they like to be called? The flight attendants, the hostesses, right. mm-hmm. whoever. I always give them to them. Um, but anyway, so I'll go through all that, and I still love to dog ear. I mean, Pinterest is fabulous, but I love to pull it all mm-hmm. out. And sometimes it seems like a great idea at the time. Oh, I'm going to paint that room completely black, and or whatever <laughs> you know my crazy ideas, and then I'm like, no, crinkle it up. Okay, not going to do that. <laughs> but that, and then I keep a file. And but then maybe you add some smaller thing with that exactly. color. I mean, it still right. can inspire you. Exactly. Not, maybe, maybe it's you paint not the, the exact... door, but not the whole room. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. something like that. That's it's a I matter think. of being re-inspired. That's what it's right. a matter mm-hmm. of. And you know, right. another place that I love to go for inspiration, and again, you're not going to recreate this exactly in your home, but I love going to the Museum of Fine Art here mm. in Houston. They have beautiful displays and even the natural uh, history, uh, natural, whatever that other museum, museum is Museum of called. Natural History? Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I just <laughs> but expand I mean, your just, mind with taxidermy. Well, there I, was a lot of taxidermy in Texas. Well, I have there's to say, they do like nothing the helps you decorate like taxidermy oh, and armadillo. You it. don't have taxidermy. Oh, don't get me started on armadillos. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> so, oh, yeah. Well, you didn't. No, let's not talk about him. So the, but there's, um, but you know, there's, they have a live butterfly display. It's not a display, but you walk in and, you know, here in Houston, there's the just room. all these butterflies mm-hmm. there. Mm-hmm. So, that can inspire you. I mean, when you see those butterflies and the colors and the yeah. patterns, I think it's not just that you're going to look for specific ideas to add to your home, but I think part of what we're talking about, about getting out of the rut, is to go out of your house or look at something new, do something different that gets you excited and creative. And I think if you're doing the same thing that you do every single day of your life, you're not going to feel creative. You're not going to feel creative Mm -hmm. writing a technical report. You're not going to feel creative while you're doing something that really requires your focus and attention. But when you're showering, when you're mowing the yard, maybe when you're folding laundry, and especially if you're out of the house driving around somewhere, I think that's when these new ideas come to you. I so agree with that. And another thing, if you're so busy cleaning your house and see all the mess and dirt in it and the clutter, if you have it, you know, you just, it's hard to be inspired. So you want to get out. Here's something that I love to do. I love this one particular movie because of the house. And so when I'm feeling in a rut, I love the movie. Something's got to give. I think that's what it's called. Yeah. And I love the beach house. Love, okay. love, 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 love. So that's the famous kitchen. Everyone wants that kitchen. Oh, right? And also it's complicated. Mm-hmm. That's the kitchen also. That's, oh, that yeah. is beautiful. And Father of the Bride. Now that's a really old one. And it's a very, um, I was, you know. That house the, is in my neighborhood. The first, I saw that when I was, you know, pretty the young. Father of the Bride house. And oh my gosh, I thought that's the kind of house I want. Yeah. Yeah. It's beautiful, but well, I love to go to these movies that have great houses in them, and that just makes me so inspired for some reason. Well, oh, Cezanne yeah. and moi, the house, just go there for the beautiful homes and <laughs> the in the French countryside. I mean, the movie. I'm oh, like, eh, yeah, it's so so. Oh yeah, but I'm gonna. And watch the other it again thing is, if there are whatever. house tours. Go on house tours. Now, well, that's what I was going to say because they mm-hmm. have them in my neighborhood and the houses are like 100 years old. They're really fascinating. 
or go to open houses and just be oh. a tire kicker. Mm-hmm. Oh. I've been known to do that. Estate mm-hmm. sales, when they have them in the home too. And you can say, I always think to myself, what would I do? How would I change that? And so even though you're thinking about somebody else's house, it starts to use, it really just starts the ball rolling. And then it allows you to look at your house in a different way. Instead of, I like something that Anita said about, you know, if you think, oh, I'm going to go buy something for my house. I need fill in the blank X. You know, I need tea towels. I need a lamp. I need whatever. Don't think like that right now when we're Mm -hmm. talking about if you're feeling in a rut. I mean, if you're on a on a roll and you're like, I'm decorating this room and I need a fill in the blank X, go for it, get it. You you've got you're inspired, you're creating this room. But if you're like, ah, oh, you know, stop buying just more stuff. You gotta get you gotta dig out of the rut first, right? So because you're not going to be happy with anything that you're buying in that state of mind. So think about it differently. Expand your mind. Mm-hmm. Take in all these other things. As we're saying, even if it's not something you would replicate exactly in your home, own home, try something else. Don't you just love a great recommendation from a friend? Well, we're delighted to be recommending these companies and their wonderful products to you today. And let them know your friends at DTT sent you. Pesto pork chops over Parmesan polenta. Not that easy to say, but oh, so easy to make with Green Chef. Green Chef is the number one meal kit company for eating well. And we have such a great deal for you. You're going to save $250. Listen on for the details on that. Green Chef makes eating well easy for any lifestyle, whether you're keto, paleo, vegan, vegetarian, gluten-free, or just looking to eat more balanced meals. You know, we're getting into the busy holiday season, so it's a perfect time to have Green Chef help you out. Let Green Chef take the work out of eating clean this holiday season with their chef-crafted, nutritionist-approved recipes featuring fresh ingredients and nothing artificial. And you know what? You don't have to lose track of your healthy eating habits during the holidays. Every Green Chef customer gets a free, that's right, a free session with their registered dietitians who will walk you through how to make clean eating work for you. So sign up for your free session and start on the road towards better health today. And the deal I want to tell you about, visit greenchef.com slash DTT250 and use the code DTT250 for $250 off your order. So that's greenchef.com slash DTT250 and use the code DTT250 for $250 off your order. Go ahead, clean out your closet, then head straight to Quinn's. I love every item Quince offers from wardrobe to decor. And I can really recommend their ultra stretch super wide leg pants at $49.90. The price is unbeatable and the look is so flattering. It keeps you in on top and flares out of the bottom. Everything feels right with Quince. The price, the quality, and the sustainability. Quince offers a range of luxury wardrobe and home goods at prices within reach. And like Quince's clothing, their home goods are priced 50 to 80% less than similar brands. Quince only works with factories that use safe, ethical, and responsible manufacturing practices, along with premium fabrics and finishes. Once you've cleaned out your closet and refreshed with Quince, you can also add something to your home decor. So give your wardrobe and your home the refresh it needs with Quince. Go to quince.com slash DTT to get free shipping and 365-day returns on your next order. That's quince, Q-U-I-N-C-E dot com slash DTT for free shipping and 365-day returns. Quince.com slash DTT. And let me know how you love those pants. Hey, I've got something else. Um, I think sometimes we get in a rut because we maybe need to declutter. Yes. And Mm -hmm. yes. And I know you love to do that, Kelly. I actually do too. I do too. But I just, I mean, finding the time can be tough, but sometimes when you declutter a room and you've got this beautiful clean now space with no clutter in it, that will unclutter your mind and get um, inspiration flowing. Oh, so yeah, and true. And we're going to go we're- dive deeper into that in the next episode. So if oh. anybody's interested in that, you know, stay tuned for um, 263. Well, while you're, if you're feeling stuck, I, 
one of my uh, things I would say is this is not the time to be going to buy a lot of things. Right. Because you're going to not like them later. You know, because if you're just kind of feeling like, I don't know, I don't know, just nothing's exciting me. That's just, I think, the day that you end up making some bad decisions because then mm-hmm. you just end up feeling like, I have a hole on my wall. I have to fill. That's about the right size and I'm just going to get it. I mean, if you're just getting it because it's the right size, the right color, I think you're going to be sorry later on. I mean, really wait till and you find we've probably all been there really and done that at some you. point. <laughs> mm-hmm. So kind of, so, and there's so many things I think that will speak to you. And sometimes it may even be the same thing that you went, we're feeling meh about one day, but you just kind of needed to get out and kind of, uh, just kind of refresh yourself and, you know, kind of get a different perspective. I think another thing too, is to kind of talk to a friend, phone a friend. Mm-hmm. I've had, I have that on my list. Oh yeah. Because I mm-hmm. think that kind of can get you out of a rut sometimes and you can ask your friend. In fact, I had, so in my girl's room at the farm, I have white curtains behind each bed. And then I had some pink, a little a section of pink curtains on either side, you know, that the, 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 the curtain, it's just right behind the bed. So it was pink on the edges and then the white curtain in the center. And I just wasn't feeling like I really liked it. And so I was like, I don't know, Kelly, I'm not really loving this. And she said, oh yeah, you should take that down. And as soon as I took it down, we were all like, oh yes, it looks so much better. So it was really <laughs> fun to kind of bounce, you know, some ideas mm-hmm. off of her while she was there. And be bold. You know, if there's something that you love, but you've been holding back or you think, oh, you know, maybe that's not really going with my whole f- look in my home currently. If you love it, hey, you know what? Life's too short. You got to love it. You know, you got to love the home you're in. And Mm -hmm. so if there is some, say it's a rug or it's a color that you want to incorporate, figure out a way to do it. And, you know, don't hold back. Give it a try. I mean, especially if it's paint, you can always reverse it. But you know what? If you love it and you're always drawn to it and you find yourself like giving a second glance to whatever color it is, persimmon or jadeite or cerulean blue or whatever, Mm. give it a whirl, even on a small scale. And that might just jumpstart everything. And then all of a sudden you'll be seeing this color that you love and you'll be other places and you'll be able to incorporate it into your home. And that's going to make you happy. I think it's a, a really nice way to do it on um, a very uh, lo- easy entry is using paint. Mm-hmm. I oh, yeah, love definitely. the idea of paint because I mean, here's an example. I have these two beautiful architectural pieces and they, they're, oh gosh, they're over a foot high and they're pretty hefty and their, their shape is beautiful and they're new. I, I think I got them at our Pottery Barn outlet. And I love them. The problem is, is I hate the finish on them. So they're sitting at my work desk. I'm going to paint the bottom of them and silver leaf the top. And oh I'm thinking, my. I'm going to love these. So think about doing that. Use paint, use leafing, use all kinds of techniques. And it's so simple. to And, and it can really get you excited. I just... Um, painted seven books yesterday white and then covered them in burlap because they had these wild, bright um, uh, bindings on them. So I painted them like this called Biscuits and Gravy, and that's by a maker studio. Maybe we can put that in the show notes. And um, after I painted, I thought, I can't you just cover them with burlap. I've got to paint them. So I painted them and then I covered these books. And I'm thinking, ooh, I'm going to use them. So, um, And um, they can go in between these two architectural pieces that I'm doing. So then I got really excited. The ball started to roll. Do you know what I'm Mm -hmm. saying? Yeah. I'm thinking, well, I'm going to redo my my, um, uh, shelving unit in my family room because I think it would look nice there. So it's sort of that snowball. Once you get out of that uh, rut and you start doing some things, painting some things, you, you just get you just like get freed again. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, you know, I think uh, Kelly was talking about magazines and of course there's so many wonderful books on decorating that you can read. And I think that also helps you get out of the rut and, 
And I wanted to mention, if you are coming to Round Top tomorrow, two of our friends are having a book signing in our booth at Blue Hills. Kari Ann of Thistlewood Farms and Courtney of French Country Cottage are going to be at our booth at Bespoke Decor uh, in Blue Hills from 2 to 4. So you can get your book signed while you're there. And they have beautiful books. Beautiful books. They do. And, mm, and that's a good thing to do. But just don't look at the pictures. Even <laughs> re- No, even... No, I mean, honestly, a lot of us do that. A lot of us go through a magazine and we just look at the pictures. But read the words, the describing words of how they do things. Just, just mentally gets you out of that rut. You have more words, more describing words, more ideas. And I just found that very helpful that when I started looking at the words and adjectives they use for things, that gets me excited. If you like decorating, that gets your that that gets your motor revved. Yeah, well that's a good thought. That's a good mm-hmm. get your motor run in. <laughs> I think no, I think that's the, the wrong the word. <laughs> That's a song. That's a good song. Um, anyway, I think that's a great idea. And I wish I could be there also for the book signing. But yeah, if you can't be there, you can pick up their books and check them out. They all, yes, gorgeous, gorgeous. They're both on them. Amazon. So maybe we can put a link oh, in yeah, our show notes that, to then. those. Okay. Well, that would be yeah. nice of us. Let's also, if when you're in your house, fill your house with beautiful music, fresh flowers, oh, great beautiful idea. scents that mm-hmm. really um, elevate how you feel. Mm-hmm. To get out yeah, of and work. I like the idea of even taking everything out of the room and just I kind of starting idea. over. Yeah, you're going to end up putting less things in. I hope. Mm-hmm. I absolutely. I, I, just your very favorite thing. Next week, I have a post going up on. I, I've been doing this uh, series on the elements of decorating, and it's on space. And yeah, I think if people edit it a little more, they'd be a lot happier. Yeah, which slides into the purging category. Yeah. Mm, yes, a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, when I started watching that show, I started really, this was several years ago, I started really taking a lot of things out of my house. I thought, well, if I was trying to sell this house, yes, this room is too crowded. Yes, this room is. Mm-hmm. And I thought, why would I wait till I'm selling it? Why can't I enjoy it now? And I started taking things out and I just thought, yes, yes, it's so much Mm -hmm. better. And even me who loves to embellish and layer says that too. Be very judicious about how you layer and what you put into a room. I agree with you wholeheartedly on that. Yeah. And one of the things I like to do after I've explored the magazines and the books and walks around. And I like to look at, you know, exteriors as well as interiors. Certainly if I can get into a house on a yeah, an estate sale or something like that, just to see how other people put things together. So you've got all those ideas running around in your head. And then I really like to look at my rooms. Maybe it's the whole house or maybe it's just one room that I'm focusing on and I'm feeling in a rut on one particular area or maybe it's the whole darn house. I like to look at it with a completely different set of eyes. Not the set of eyes that's going to see the dust on the baseboards and not the set of eyes that's going to see, you know, something that, you know, didn't get done or whatnot. But Wait, and this eyes- made me nervous about her coming to my house, by the way, because I know <laughs> oh, <stop laughs> she's it. a clean person. I, left my, I, I brought my cowgirl boots and I left my white gloves at home. Oh, that but, was good. Yeah, I enjoyed myself. Now, your homes are beautiful. So don't be silly. But I like to look at my rooms with more of a critical eye. But it, critical mm. is not a great word because people think that means criticism. Discerning more. eye. Yes, discerning is nicer. But also like how can I change this up? Why Sometimes what the, the rut is is just things land places. And the room mm. – so uh, number true. one for me is a room has to function well. And if it functions well and you can make it beautiful, then that's perfect. But really – or first and foremost, it should function well and be comfortable, and then you can make it beautiful. So sometimes rooms don't function well. Things land places, and people are walking around them, or there's a pile of something somewhere. Or here's the thing that's really annoying that can make you feel like you're stuck in a rut is something that just – some simple things that just needs to be fixed. BritBox just keeps getting better. The new Archie is amazing. And it's not the comics. It's about Cary Grant. Archie is the brand new limited series starring Jason Isaacs as Archie Leach, the man who became Cary Grant. 
From the award-winning screenwriter of Philomena, Artie tells Grant's born in Britain, made in Hollywood story. The dramatic grit to glamour transformation that led him to become one of the most famous people in the world. You are going to absolutely love the acting, but also the styling, the outfits, the scenery. It's the first time his story has been told in collaboration with his daughter Jennifer Grant and ex-wife Diane Cannon. The performances from Jason Isaacs and the rest of the cast are amazing. And it's only available on BritBox. So sign up for BritBox today to stream Archie and other fan favorites from any device. And we have a special limited time offer for our U.S. and Canadian listeners. Get 50% off. Yes, that's 50% off your first month when you sign up for a monthly plan. But only if you go to BritBox.com and use our promotion code DTT at checkout. You're going to love Archie. So head over right now and get 50% off your first month of BritBox. Use the promotion code DTT at BritBox.com. Green Chef is a delicious delight any time of year, but especially during the holidays. What a wonderful vision to behold of the Green Chef boxes on your doorstep. Green Chef is the number one meal kit for eating well. And it makes eating well so easy with plans to fit every lifestyle, whether you're keto, paleo, vegan, vegetarian, gluten-free, or just looking to eat a more balanced diet. So let Green Chef take the work out of eating clean this holiday season. And if you've got guests coming, shop Green Bundles. They're now available at the Green Market. It's your one-stop shop for nutritious grab-and-go breakfasts, including vegan options, brunch kits, wholesome lunches, ready-to-eat snacks, veggie sides, and more. You can feel your best this December and do your best with Green Chef because they offset 100% of the delivery emissions as well as 100% of the plastic in every box. Go to greenchef.com slash 60DTT and use the code 60DTT and get 60% off plus 20% off your next two months. greenchef.com slash 60DTT and use the code 6060DTT to get 60% off plus 20% off your next two months. Right now I have a hinge that came loose in my old house. You know, that happens sometimes, you know, the, the oh, screw just is 130 it. years yeah. old, right? It's just, it's just, <laughs> right. Right. Like, it's just upsetting. Right. And then it's just kind of this, you don't even want to go into the room because you know that door frame, you know, broke or whatever. Yeah. Right. And that's what you focus on when you've got like a beautiful bedspread or a lovely right. pillow right. or something else I swear like that. my mm-hmm. family had the, the thing booby trapped when I came home from... <laughs> Wrapped up. You just touched the t- handle on the toilet and it just broke right off. And I was oh, like, no. oh, oh my gosh, I'm so you- glad it didn't happen on my watch. Thank goodness. <laughs> ah, I broke something right before I left. Sorry. <laughs> But yeah, just get those little things fixed. That's going to make you feel a hundred times better too. Sometimes you just like, oh, I'm in a rush. I can't fix that now. I'll fix it tomorrow. And then, you know, 20 tomorrows, two months of tomorrows go by and it never gets fixed. So doing Mm. that sort of thing will also jumpstart you. But I am, gosh, you know, just open your eyes wide to all the possibilities and your home is absolutely beautiful and it should make you feel really comfy and happy to be in it. And that's what we're here to help you do. So remember, we're here to inspire you to create a beautiful home. Until next time. Hey, everybody. We want to thank you so much for listening to Decorating Tips and Tricks. And we want to make it even easier for you to listen. And it's easier if you subscribe. You just click the subscribe button on our website, www.decoratingtipsandtricks.com. Or you can subscribe through Apple Podcast or any of your favorite podcast listeners. When you subscribe, DTT comes free right to you three days a week. So until next time.